You see, we, we have a big challenge <clears throat> in this country. And the challenge is that um, Nigerians do not respect our country enough. You know, there's no country in the world that doesn't have its own types of challenges. Look at the protest that is going on in the UK as we speak. Human beings are basically the same. What separates one group of people from another is the enforcement of law and the certainty of penalties for offenses. Shops were broken into in the UK. Did you not see it during the protests? Yes. People looted uh, sure. materials and all of that. Yes. You know, but uh, many of those people have already been brought to book. That's a deterrence. Yes. And that is the path that we must follow as a nation. Mm -hmm. um, you find many Nigerians flying flags of other countries in their vehicles, you yeah, know, homes. in their homes, you know, and so on and so forth. It's a mark of disrespect for your own country to do that kind of thing. And we, 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 we send these messages very often. We even have jingles, you know, on the significance of especially the flag. And then the correct format. But, when so, he was but, talking but, sorry, about but these flags are sold. I mean, you can go to the market yeah. and pick them up. We're doing something so, about that, Claire. Yeah. You know, the reason why all of that is happening, and a lot of what you see in the traffic and in the market do not represent the true Nigerian flag. Yeah. And we've kept on talking about this. Nigeria is not the only country that has green yes. on its flag. Yeah. Even emerald green. Because yeah. that's the nature of green, green, green that is our own. I wish but, you had brought uh, a but of, of it, you know. But you see, even at that, emerald green is differentiated by color codes. Yes. The color code that is the Nigerian flag is emerald green 2.0. Thank you. So, but you see people flying all manner of uh, green. They have no respect, no regard. And they are not flying the true Nigerian flags. So we're preached against this. What we're doing at the moment, there's an ordinance act in line with what he was saying, uh, which makes these national symbols to be a product of law. That's what he was saying in all those sections that he was referring to. So I wanted us to, I wanted to, because this is, we're trying to educate the people, the people who, who vandalized uh, the national flag, the people who don't sing a national anthem are not educated people like you and I. So we must make them understand why they must, you know, um, own the national flag, why they must own the national anthem, why they must own the national play, yes. pledge, why they must also see the coat of arms. Yes, you know? we're, we're scaling up on that. Yes. But like again, I, yes. like I see I we have our, our flag now. Maybe uh, once we get, please go ahead. Why, yes. why, why, so, but like get? I told you, um, enforcement of law is critical to behavior change, you know, and to adherence. And so we have recognized that at the N NOA. And what we're trying to do, if you look at the ordinance act that I referred to, that Ordinance Act came out uh, in the 60s or 70s thereabouts. And the penalties indicated in, the, in that Ordinance Act are in shillings and pounds, which is no longer <laughs> the legal tender in our country. So we yes. are... So you, you, there you are. You, ha you now have the flag. Yes, yes. So, so this, is the, yes. this is the Emerald yes, Green. Yes, this. You know, this, this two mm -hmm. that you see. This is the well, Emerald these two are different. No, this yeah. is not. This is not. Uh, this, this is the is wrong version of it. So, so this is. But this that you see, this is Emerald Green 2.0. Yes, yes, yes. This is 2.0. So mm. this is the correct Nigerian flag. Mm. But you find people flying yeah, dark shades, <laughs> no, you know, so, milk yes. green, uh, white. So how how is this supposed to be when when it's hoist? Is it is it like this? Uh, it's it's hoisted straight like this. Yes. This that you are seeing now mm. is a handheld flag. Mm -hmm. You know, it comes in various um, varieties. Mm -hmm. There are tabletop. Yeah. There's the one you put on the car of uh, specific office holders mm -hmm. in, in government. There's the one that you host outside called the outdoor flag. And then there's the one that you host behind chief executives, government chief executives as a symbol of authority alongside the coat of uh, arms, you know, and the picture of the president, you know, to the right. So there are rules guiding the use of all national symbols. And these rules are clearly indicated. You know, what we're trying to do now, NO is rolling out a national identity project, which the president will be unveiling, hopefully, sometimes this month. And the promotion of the correct use and the correct versions of the national flag 
is a prominent component of that national identity project. The Director General of the National Orientation Agency keeps talking about it. It's a, it's a project that we are positive will change perspective about how we look at our nation. One of the things we are trying to achieve with that is this. We have discovered that Nigerians take out their anger on government, on the country. But these two are not the same in all manners particular. We must differentiate between Nigeria, our country, and governments that come part time and transit, and another government comes and transit, and another one comes. Nigerians have not been able to clearly create that distinction in their mind. So when they are angry with a particular government, they take it out on their country, you know, which is not correct. We must realize that we have no other country but Nigeria. If we have challenges in the way it is governed, then it's incumbent upon us, even as citizens, as citizen responsibility, to get up and speak out dialogue, engage, and try to instigate change in the way that the country is being governed, following rules and regulations.